Good afternoon. I'm Katie Collette with your Wavy TV 10 headlines. Virginia Tech officially announced Penn State defensive coordinator Brent Pry will, in fact, be its next head football coach. Pry, who served as grad assistant at Tech from 1995 to 97, will be formally introduced as head coach during a press conference at 9 o'clock Thursday morning. J.C. Price, who served as interim head coach for the Hokies' win over rival UVA this past weekend, will remain as associate head coach and defensive line coach. Chesapeake police released the name of the suspect and victims involved in a case they believe is a murder-suicide. Police say 22-year-old Colin Smith Aiken and 20-year-old Anise Gonzalez were in a car traveling northbound on George Washington Highway near Canal Drive late Saturday night. Investigators say Gonzalez was driving when Smith Aiken shot her from the passenger seat. Police say Smith Aiken got out of the car and took his own life. A woman who stopped to see what was going on was also shot while she was in her car. It's not clear if she was targeted or hit by a stray bullet. She is expected to survive. Officials say Gonzalez and Smith Aiken were married to each other at the time of this incident. We're still working to gather more details. Norfolk police arrested 23-year-old Tyreek Brown in connection to a shooting. Officials say it happened in the Taco Bell parking lot on Newtown Road around 5 last night. Police tell us Brown shot a 30-year-old man and 23-year-old victim during a fight. Brown was arrested at the scene. He faces multiple charges, including malicious wounding. Brown is currently being held in Norfolk City Jail without bond. Virginia Beach police arrested 19-year-old Devontae Burris in connection to a shooting that happened earlier this month. Officials say Burris was one of two men who shot a man on Bowling Green Drive. Burris and a teen were taken into custody last Tuesday. Burris faces a number of charges, including aggravated malicious wounding, while the teen was charged with two counts of attempted robbery. They're both currently being held in the Virginia Beach Correctional Center and Juvenile Detention Center. Newport News police are investigating after a stabbing left a man fighting for his life this midday. It happened on Orchid Avenue just before 9.30 last night. Officials say a 24-year-old man was also stabbed and he is expected to recover. Police tell us at this time the circumstances of this incident are still under investigation. We're working to learn more details about a suspect. And remember, you can find all of your headlines and your Super Doppler 10 forecast throughout the day on wavy.com. Have a great day.